As reported by Bloomberg, the United States has discreetly increased its military aid to Israel, fulfilling requests that encompass laser-guided missiles, artillery shells, night vision devices, and bunker buster munitions. Notably, the aid includes a request for 75 of the U.S. Army and Marine Corps' new Joint Light Tactical Vehicles, JLTVs. This information is sourced from an internal Defense Department list, as reported by Bloomberg on November 15, 2023. This expands the weapons pipeline beyond previously acknowledged provisions like Iron Dome interceptors, David Armored Vehicles, and ammunition. These military shipments to Israel persist even as Biden administration officials have been increasingly cautioning Israel about minimizing civilian casualties in the ongoing conflict with Hamas, which is designated as a terrorist group by both the US and the European Union. The detailed list of arms sought by Israel in its fight against Hamas is contained in a document labeled Israel Senior Leader Requests. This document, dated late October, is currently circulating within the Pentagon. The arms mentioned are either already in the process of being shipped, or the Defense Department is actively working to make them available from stockpiles in the US and Europe. The US could facilitate the purchase of these military assets, as industry sources suggest the possibility of steering foreign military financing grants through the foreign military sales process. While the Pentagon spokesman declined to discuss specifics, the Defense Department did release a statement acknowledging the aid and stating that it is leveraging several avenues, from internal stocks to U.S. industry channels, to ensure Israel has the means to defend itself. The statement also emphasized that this security assistance is arriving on a near-daily basis. A notable aspect of this military assistance package is the inclusion of 75 Joint Light Tactical Vehicles, JLTVs. The JLTV, intended to replace the Humvee, signifies a strategic effort to modernize military assets. According to available information, the Israeli Defense Forces, IDF, are reported to possess over 2,000 Humvees. Recently, a contract for the procurement of JLTVs has been executed, with delivery anticipated in the near future. This development suggests that the IDF may consider replacing its aging armored vehicles with the JLTV, aligning with practices observed in several other nations. Interestingly, the armored cabins of the JLTVs designated for Israel could potentially be manufactured by Plazen North America, PNA, as this subsidiary of the Israeli company Plazen made an announcement on July 17, 2023 indicating that PNA has been chosen as a subcontractor for the JLTV program. Plazen, headquartered in Israel, has maintained a long-standing association with this program, contributing armor components for seven years. Its kit hull concept, featuring a protected vehicle cabin, played a role in meeting military needs during conflicts in Afghanistan and Iraq. The success of Plazen's kit hull concept lies in its capacity to provide a protected vehicle cabin out of the box, facilitating swift assembly without the necessity for skilled welders or extensive floor space. The high mobility multipurpose wheeled vehicle, HMMWV or Humvee, crucial in the US military since 1984, which also found utility in the Israel Defense Force, IDF, has been phased out through the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, JLTV, program. Oshkosh Defense's JLTV, with advanced technologies and scalable armor, has become a versatile and highly mobile platform, surpassing the production milestone of 20,000 units on June 2, 2023. The international impact of the JLTV is evident in its adoption by various countries, including Belgium, Brazil, Lithuania, and Romania. Ongoing developments include Oshkosh Defense's introduction of the EJLTV, a hybrid electric version backed by five patents. The continual evolution underscores the JLTV's global significance as a military vehicle offering speed, maneuverability, and payload capacity.